Well, the sun's gone down here behind me, and mate, this is one of the most sensational places that I've ever been to. Like, realistically, I rocked up here. I thought it was a, it was like I was on Treasure Island. Sensational place. So I've got to do a cook up here on the deck. Now this is the beautiful deck. So I was thinking, why not do something a bit different, something that I don't use, a bit, a bit something out of my comfort zone. And I'm going to have to borrow old mate the chef. I'm going to have to borrow his uh, little oven to cook something up. But uh, I've got a few ingredients here and I'm going to cook up a beer, a savoury beer bread. All right, so let's give that a whirl. So you're going to need a big bowl, big mixing bowl. And I've got all these other ingredients here. I've got some olives and I've got some basil and I've got some pine nuts and, and, and uh, bacon there. And those ingredients go absolutely awesome together in a damper if you're doing a savoury damper. But we're going to do a beer, savoury beer bread. All right, so let's give that a crack. Um, and first of all, I'll just show you, and I'll just give you an idea of the yeast. So I've got a bit of yeast, a bit of salt, a little bit of water, and a little bit of sugar. Basically, I've whacked it in, put it in a bowl there, and I've just covered it up so that it can activate. But I've just warmed that up a little bit, so it's just been warmed up, and it's starting to sort of activate and carry on there now. So we've got some flour, and I'm gonna chuck probably about a couple of handfuls of flour, because so I need to play around with a little bit as well, so I don't get the sticky dough on me. Make a bit of a hollow in there, and we're gonna grab our yeast, and we're gonna shove that right in the middle. If you wanna know how much, it's usually written on the side of the packet, and of course, beer. Gotta have beer. Can't make a savoury beer damper without, savoury beer bread without beer. So we'll chuck some beer in now. I'm just sticking a little bit for now, and beer will become really frothy when you stick it in with the flour. All right, so we're gonna bring that in, and we're gonna mix that up, because we're trying to make a dough. Here we go, a bit more beer. All right, there we go, we'll put that over there. Bit of flour on the deck. We're gonna work our dough in. Folding. All right, I think we're good. I'm gonna stick that in there, a bit of glad wrap over the top, and I'm gonna stick that in a warm, moist area. So, I don't know, if it was the middle of the day and we were cooking some bread, you can chuck it in the back of your truck and close the door. Now we're gonna let that rise, give it about an hour, hour and a half, and she'll rise up, we'll watch that. Well, there we go. That took about an hour, roughly about an hour, and we've, it basically it's doubled in size, if you have a look at that. So we grab it out, pull out our dough, and we're just gonna knead that up. Fold him, push him down, fold him. So I'm gonna flatten it all out. Give it a bit of a workout, like that. And I'm gonna lay these ingredients down the center of it. So first of all, Get some bacon, those olives. Shove a line of olives down there. And that basil, fresh basil. Now I've got some roasted pine nuts here and I might just squash them up with the old knife. Put a squash up and I'm gonna sprinkle them on top. Now, we're gonna grab all that, and grab all that, put it all back in. It's looking like a bit of a loaf now. Don't forget to butter up the tin, just so it doesn't stick to the bottom. I'm gonna shove that in there. We're just gonna dab some milk on top like that, and that'll give a little brown top on it. So that's easy. Chuck her in the oven, 180, 200. <laughs> You've got a camp oven. Uh, maybe two shovelfuls of coal or something like that. You ready to go, mate? Absolutely. All right, we'll, we'll whack her in, eh? Why not? There we go. I'll just chuck it down the bottom. Beautiful. About an hour and a half, I reckon, or maybe an hour. Oh, not even. Not even, 40, 40 minutes. minutes? 40 minutes, that'll be fine. All right, let's do it. Ah, oh, look at that. Well, there we go. Fresh out of the oven. You can see how she's nice and brown from the milk I put on top. So I reckon we give her a bit of a serve up. I've got a nice fancy plate here. So we'll chop her up into bits. 
Yeah, I think the troops over there are wanting to feed. So we'll line her up on the plate here. Beauty. Get yourself into that one, eh? Give yeah. that a whirl. Yeah. These go. Don't forget the butter. At least the rescue party's happy, and we'll rescue the big boat on the top of the tide tomorrow. Okay.